so excited to show you guys. We got chickens finally. It has been about a year or so since we had them. Uh, once all of our other ones unfortunately passed away after having them for a long time, we took a break for about a year. We have gotten our chickens back. Uh, we got some more chickens from my neighbor who sold them to us for a really, really cheap price. Um, considering how much people are selling chickens for, like adult hens right now. And uh, we got them for like $5 each, which was great. And I think that mostly they did it just because like as a favor to us, which was really nice. We have the hens and today is the first day that we're going to be letting them free range because they have been in the coop for a week now. So they know like this is my home, this is where I eat and once I've had the chickens in the coop for a week that I'm comfortable with letting them uh, free range and everything because I, I know that they're gonna you know want to come back home without like a lot of guidance basically so that is definitely a recommendation if you're gonna be like free ranging your chickens to let them be comfortable with their home for at least a few days knowing like that's where they sleep and that's where they eat before like letting them roam and today it's perfect because we've had them for a little bit like I said and it's so cold so now they can just like go around and find places that they're most comfortable with as far as like staying warm and tonight we will probably put them in the garage because it's gonna get down to like the 30s so um, I like to do that I know it's not really necessary and most people live up north where it, it's really commonly that low but that's what I like to do when the temperatures get really low with the chickens just put them in like a dog cage in the garage with like you know all the hay and their water and things like that yeah I will show you guys the chickens and um, I'm going to also be making an omelet with their eggs I've gotten four eggs I'm not gonna use all four of them but it's like one of my favorite things to just go out to the coop and you know get the eggs from your own house like something about it is just such an amazing feeling to me whenever I can have more control over my own food and knowing where it came from that to me it's like such I get a lot of gratification out of that that's why like every time I cook with my chickens eggs you know cracking them and just knowing like these came from my backyard it just makes me feel like you know enjoy that meal even more or like if I'm gardening and I'm picking tomatoes or something like that and making like tomato sauce or whatever um, I just feel like the food tastes better it might not taste better but to me it's like I get so much more out of it emotionally by doing all of that that's why we have chickens and for a lot of other reasons like my son he uh, loves coming out to see them in the coop and he says chicken and bok 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 he's only a year and a half old uh, but he loves the chickens and he loves seeing them so it's really good for him and he likes to like gently pet them and just kind of introduce him to those types of animals at that age and like the value of uh, taking care of those animals and where our food comes so comes from. I will definitely be including them in more and more videos coming up and doing more recipes on like cooking with your eggs. I'm sure if you have had experience with having chickens, you know there is a time where you're going to have like a bajillion eggs and not know what to do with them. I'm definitely going to be showing you guys some recipes on eggs. And if you're like me, then you know, if you don't have anybody to give them away to, you don't want to waste the you don't want to waste the eggs. If you have like other animals that would eat eggs like dogs or whatever, that's a great way to get rid of your excess eggs. Um, but yeah, like quiches and different things like that. So definitely stay tuned when I post some of those recipes. Anyways, I'll show you guys the hens. And if you guys have chickens yourself, definitely let me know what kind you have. I have I love silkies and I love like Saramas like the little bantams but right now what I have are just like Rhode Islands and I think the black one is a coach and I'm not sure but they're really good hens so far she this one is super sweet she's really sociable and I think they're happy in their whole setup we have these two nesting boxes right here just in case um, some hens aren't ever getting along because you know that can happen with the, all the 
um, hen drama that can ensue. Uh, but we have a really large coop up here. I have it open because I was just getting eggs. And there's two different sections for them to enter just in case, you know, they need some space. But it seems like they're enjoying it. I have their food pail uh, hanging, although they've gotten all their food on the ground. And I'm going to be improving their feeding system coming up here. They haven't decided to go outside yet. I don't think they realize that they can. I have the door wide open. Sorry, it is really windy right now. And, um, but yeah, we're just super excited to add them to our miniature homestead that keeps growing. And coming up here in 2022, we have a lot of really big plans for our homestead. We wanna do um, lots of things from bees and really expand our garden. So definitely stick around if you wanna see more of that. <laughs> she said, I want to go. There's my cat watching the chickens. This is her favorite spot because she's in the sun. And she also gets to have her little chicken TV all day. She's nice to the chickens though. She wouldn't hurt them. She just likes her chicken TV and who doesn't? I don't have any names for our chickens yet. And what I wanted to do is ask you guys some ideas on some chicken names. So whoever has the most creative names for my free chickens, I will be picking those in my next video that I feature the chickens. I will let you guys know what names I picked and who is the you know, winner of the name contest. So I would totally appreciate your guys' help. Definitely drop a comment in the comment section with those suggestions. Thanks so much.